Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome to Ice Week Diaries. Local Ice Man here. And I got that cool glass of pink lemonade right here. No, no, that's not pink lemonade. What that is, that's brine from the system. So, for today's episode, we're going to show you guys how to check the brine density. I'm not sure how many of you, your ice reservoir drivers or Zamboni drivers, have to check the brine density, but it's just something I do four or five times a year at least every three months. The brine density doesn't change very much, but if you have to add water to the system, in the past you've had leaks that we had repaired, and if you have to add water to the system, you have to check the brine density of that brine as you add it to the system to make sure the brine density or the freezing temperature is not near the temperature of the Freon. I don't want to get into the refrigeration system too much. I can do a separate video about that. I don't know a whole lot, but I know enough to you know, be dangerous. But the Brahm is a secondary coolant in the refrigeration system, Freon being the primary coolant. Back in the day, the Freon itself would go into the concrete slab, but because it's really bad for our environment and it's really hard to fix leaks, they've developed a newer system. I'm sure also it'll change because as chillers became available in other industries, they probably just applied that to the ice rink industry. So basically, Freon is the primary coolant, Brahm is the secondary coolant, and Brahm is actually what's pumped underneath the ice. It's what removes the heat from the ice, transfers it to the Freon, then eventually outside. So in our case, the Freon is at six degrees. And this Brahm solution, which basically is just water and calcium chloride mix, and the calcium chloride is what they use to, to melt the ice in the roads and stuff, to melt the snow. And water itself, its freezing temperature is at 32 degrees. So you just are adding the calcium chloride to the solution to get it dense enough, thick enough, and you're basically lowering its freezing temperature. If the brine itself would say was at, its freezing temperature was at eight degrees, and it entered the chiller, it would freeze the chiller up and it caused all sorts of havoc. Sorry for the one glove, I just don't want to, touch this stuff. So we want the freezing temperature of the brine to be at minus six and the density of that is 1.21. And we measure that with this hydrometer right here. And this one's made for calcium chloride. This is not tall enough to be able to use this. That's why I have this thermos I confiscated a while back. I used to have a tall beaker and I need to order one from somewhere. I, but I had a tall one. It got, it was probably like 15, 20 years old before I just got cracked up and stuff. We gotta make sure that this right here is at 60 degrees. Uh, when we pulled out of the system, I'm at 54 right now. So we gotta let it get up to 60 degrees. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this in the cylinder right here so it's able to float and I'll be able to get a reading from it. So let's go ahead and check this. All right, this is at 58 degrees and we're gonna call that close enough. So I'm gonna go outside real quick, pour this into this and I don't wanna spill this right here or anywhere near me. So I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So I have the brine in here. All right, so looking good. Let me pull you guys a little closer. And All right, I think I got a decent view for you guys here. So it looks to be, and there's some foam on there on the top. So, I'll wipe this away here a little bit. I say we're probably at a, to be honest, I think we're right at plus five. You see the plus five right there? So right now, I, I'm gonna call it plus five. And what I mean by the 1.21, that's actual density. If you look on this side right here, just give it a little wipe. You see the, the 1.2, so the more dense it is, the, the greater this number is, and it's just gonna be up in the air. Let's say if we're at minus 40, which would be 1.28. This slash right here is 1.2. Then the next one is 1.21. And where, where am I at there? Minus five right there. So 1.2, 1.21 is not gonna be on this side. 1.21 is gonna be on this side. I say we're at minus five. Uh, here, I gotta get this closer if I'm gonna read it, but I'm gonna call it minus five, 
zero. So that's how you check the density in a brine. Again, make sure the brine's density or freezing temperature is well below the temperature that the Freon's operating at. Then you can achieve this by adding more calcium chloride to the solution, thus lowering the freezing temperature of the brine and increasing the density of it. As well as when we make a fresh batch of brine, we gotta make sure the density of that brine solution is where we want it. And some interesting side notes with the brine solution. Again, it's just a base of water with calcium chloride mixed in it. But the weird thing is, is when you mix the calcium chloride with the water, the water becomes very hot, surprisingly hot. Hot, almost scary hot like you can almost dunk a chicken in there and slow cook it for a while not only it gets hot it gets really stinky and the stuff is just sticky too again you don't want to spill on you or get on you you'll, you'll stain your clothes when i'm mixing brown i'm wearing a respirator and gloves to hold nine yards man but it's something i really don't like doing is mixing that stuff or dealing with the calcium chloride all right that's all i have for you guys today thanks for watching and like always i hope you learned something and like the localized man says stay cool